collaborative leadership really is identifying what project you want to work on or what problem you're trying to solve and do research up front with those that are most impacted by that program and then identify those that would be most effective in making that change happen. One of the key areas that we realized early was that we needed to build capacity of our teaching staff and our administrative staff. From my standpoint in working with administrators, when we have administrative staff development, we've built in online components to that. So our administrators would become more comfortable in how to access a blended environment and then how to collaborate. So when they go into the classroom, they're comfortable with saying, well, when I put a discussion board up based on this book that we were reading, this is how I did it. How are you engaging students when they're at home or in their online coursework? How are you engaging them in that way? It's not just saying this is the path that we want to go on and good luck, best of luck with, to you in pulling this project off. It's continuous support and monitoring to make sure that our, our teachers and administrators have what they need to be successful. We have a comprehensive planning process which is built by the Palisades community. So it's built by students, teachers, parents, um, community members that may have had students that have graduated, um, maybe community members that don't have children in the district at all but they're business owners and have a vested interest in making sure they have an, an educated pool in which to to draw from. The keys that come out of the comprehensive plan are what we continually refer back to. So whenever a new initiative comes through, we use that as our benchmark to see whether or not we're right on track. The reason that we're doing whatever the initiative may be is because it fulfills the goals of the comprehensive plan, which was put together by this community. This is what this community wants. So it's not one person, the superintendent, who has decided everything that's going to occur for the district, but it's, a, it's truly a community effort. Each of our administrators participates on leading a comprehensive planning action team, and they may, they may partner with a teacher, they may partner with another administrator, they may partner with a parent to fulfill and organize uh, the goals of that action plan. The greatest advantage of a collaborative leadership style is that it's sustainable within the community. So when you have a collaborative learning style that people are expected to participate in, in the functioning of the school and they come to accept that they're as responsible for student learning and student outcomes as an individual teacher or the superintendent or as an administrator, that's sustainable.